Hello people, this is Self Tuts and we are continuing a series on AWS Lambda and in this video we will see how to create Lambda functions using our AWS Web Console. So there are basically two ways to create Lambda function from Web Console. The first one is using the online code editor which AWS provides and the second one is uploading a zip file. So we have already seen in our previous videos that we were using this online code editor to edit our code and to create Lambda function. In this video, we'll give a review to this online code editor and then we'll see how to create new Lambda functions using zip file. So we'll go to our AWS web console. First, we'll go to AWS website, Amazon Web Services website. To enter into the web console, you have to have an account in your Amazon Web Services. So I have already created it. So I'm going to the web console. So I've already signed in also. So by clicking on the web console button, I have already logged into my web console. Inside the services tab, you can see a Lambda service is present here. And this service is inside the compute section. So I will click on this Lambda function service and this opens up a new window for me. So this provides the list of Lambda functions that are already present here. And it says the dashboard is also present through which you can monitor your Lambda function or you can see the metrics for your Lambda function. And inside the functions tab, you can see the list of the function. So we are interested in creating a new Lambda function. So we'll click on this create a Lambda function button. This opens a new window for us and describes what is the process through which we'll go to create a new Lambda function. So the first one is selecting a blueprint. So you can select blueprints like previous codes are written there. Like if you need to create a Lambda function in Python, you can select a Python blueprint. If you want to create a Lambda function in Node.js, you can select a Node.js blueprint by choosing or by using a filter from here. So we are interested in blank function because we just need to see that how Lambda functions can be created in different ways. So we'll select this blank function. Upon selecting the blank function or selecting this blueprint, we'll be asked to configure our triggers. So what does a trigger mean in Lambda function? On clicking this uh, image, we can see we get the list of different services of AWS like the API Gateway, AWS IoT, Amazon S3. So we have already seen in previous videos that a Lambda function can be invoked from multiple sources like from S3. So for trigger, it means that from where this Lambda function will get triggered. So suppose a upload of an image in S3 can trigger a Lambda function. So this is what a trigger means that from where the Lambda function will get triggered. So we are not interested in triggers now. So we'll just leave it and we'll say next. Now we need to configure the function means we need to provide the details for the function like the name of the function description runtime. So the one way through which we can create the Lambda function is by using this Lambda function code. So I have already written here that you can use a online code editor to create a Lambda function. So we'll just write the code here and then we'll give the handler name, role name, existing role name and we can create the Lambda function from here. So we have already seen in this in our previous video. So in this step, we'll say how to create Lambda function using zip file. So what we'll do first, we'll try to create a Lambda function in our zip. So we'll go to our desktop. And on the desktop, there is a folder named app. So we'll try to open this folder inside our sublime text. So we'll open sublime text and inside sublime text, this app folder is already open. So we'll maximize it and we'll create a new file inside it. So the new file will be created and we'll save it. And the name of that file will be inside this app folder. The name of the file will be index.js. Since we are using Node.js, so we have given the extension as JavaScript. Now we need to write our handler function inside it. So in our previous video of handler function, we have seen what is the syntax of handler function. So we need to export that function. So we'll write exports 
dot handler equal to function and then we'll give the syntax of that function which accepts three argument the first argument is the event object the second one is the context object and the third one is the callback parameter so these are the three input or three parameter that my handler function accepts now we'll just write a hello world code like we'll say console.log and then we'll say hello world and we'll give a callback so using callback you can return a response or you can throw error inside our lambda function so callback accepts two parameter if first parameter is not null then it means that we are trying to throw an error and if the second parameter if the first parameter is null then we are trying to say that we are sending some response so in this case we'll just say we are sending the response of hello world so this lambda function will do a console log and it will return a response with hello world so this is the lambda function that has been created or this is a single file that has been created so we have saved this file and now we'll again go to our desktop and on the desktop we'll try to create a zip for this folder so what we'll do we'll send this file to compressed zip folder so this creates a zip so now we'll see the contents of this zip file and we can see there's an app folder present and inside the app folder this index.js file is present where our code lives so now we will go to the web console and here we'll type the name of our function so suppose the name of the function is hello world hello world hello world function then the description is uploading the lambda function using a zip file then we need to provide the runtime environment a lambda function can run in different environment or in different languages like c sharp java 8 python and node.js so we are interested in node.js so we'll select the latest version of node.js and that is node.js 6.10 now the important point that comes here is the code entry type so one way is to write the code here and then save it the another one is to upload a zip file which we'll do now and the another one is to upload a file from amazon s3 so we'll we are interested in in uploading a zip file from our system so we'll say upload a zip file so this will ask us to give the function package so we'll click on this upload button and it will open a file chooser for us and we'll select the apps or zip file so we'll just open it so what it does this uploads the file for us or this currently selects the app.zip file now we need to do some configuration about the lambda function handler and role the important point that you need to understand that we need to provide the path of the handler function so if in the case we are using code editor suppose we are you we were not using the zip file method we were using the inline code editor then the file that aws creates is a single file and the name of that file is called index.js and that file contains the handler function but in our case what we have seen is the zip file contains a app folder and inside that app folder index file is present and inside that index file our lambda function or handler function is present so what we'll do we'll go to console and we need to provide a path for our handler function so the path is what it is present inside app folder and inside app folder index file is present and inside index file our handler function is present so this is the most important point that you need to keep in mind that when you are providing the path of your handler function you need to provide the full path this is the point where most of the people do mistake now we need to provide a role so what does this role do means when my lambda function is executed what are the permission it is having so can it uh, interact with other aws services or not so suppose the most important thing that a lambda function does is writing logs in our aws cloud watch service so you need to have the role for that so you can create roles by your own or you can choose existing role that you have previously created so in our previous videos we have created a role and we'll select those if you want to create a role 
then it's not a very tough job you just need to uh, uh, create a custom role or create a new role from template you need to choose these two and then you need to create the role so we are using an existing role so we'll select choose an existing role and the existing role is what service lambda basic execution we are not interested in add one setting like what is the timeout second and what is the memory that my lambda function will need so we are not touching this so the add one setting will not touch it and then we'll go for next so upon clicking the next button aws ask us for the review so we'll review that everything is correct here the name is correct description runtime environment is correct handler function name is correct the role is correct so we'll just say create my function so what it does this loads the file or the index.js file from our zip zip folder if you again want to do some editing so what you can do you can go to the sublime text you can edit it you can create a zip file and then you can again upload that zip file from here so you can upload the zip file from here or you can do the editing in the inline code editor, code editor itself but if you're using the inline code editor then it becomes difficult if your project contains multiple file and in real world scenario your project will definitely contain multiple file because you will be using libraries you will be using an other modules so you always need to understand how to create zip file and how to upload it now you can uh, this is the file that it reads from there then you if you want to change the configuration you can go here and you can again change the configuration you can provide other things like you can change the triggers also you can change the tags and monitoring so this way we have created the lambda function by uploading a zip file and now we are going to test it so what this test will does it will write a log of hello world and it will return me a response of hello world so i'm going to test it when we click the test button it aws lambda function asks us for a input event so by in this case we are not interested in input event because we are not interacting with it so we'll say save and test and what this will do this will give me a green tick that everything is correct and the response is hello world if you see the logs then you can see the log in the log also there is hello world written there so these are the two ways through which we can upload or we can create a new lambda function the first one is using the inline code editor and the second one is the uploading a zip file so this was all about this video if you like my channel please subscribe to it if you like this video please give a 